It is time for the primetime play of the evening, and I mean, it's it's the holiday season, the season of giving, and we have another doubleheader. It's been a while, but we've got an exciting doubleheader. Let me run it by you. Let me know what you think. First one is going to be Titans-Dolphins. That O-Runner sitting at 46. Dolphins laying two touchdowns on that one. And the next one is Packers-Giants. Packers laying six and a half. That O-Runner is at 37. Let's start with that top one, Titans at the Dolphins. For me, it's Dolphins or pass. I don't think you can get involved here. This Miami team is sort of a juggernaut, and I say sort of. It's really when they play these inferior teams. And I would say the Titans are are inferior. And there's a chance the Titans kind of hang around, but they're just too explosive, they being Miami. And I just I mean, it's a lot of points, so if you want to play the underdog, fine. There's actually a couple 13 and a halfs out there. I would grab those if you can. And it's not something I'm going to bet the farm on, but in my pick em league, I'm taking the Dolphins. I think they are explosive. And there's just an element of like the game can kind of get away from the opponents. We've seen this way too many times where it's like 40 to 10. We even saw it with the Jets when Boyle was the quarterback. Miami at home on a Monday night, I think the fireworks will be going on offense. I like it. Next up, Packers, Giants. Packers laying six and a half. Added to the Giants, that over under sitting at 37. All right, Noor, we talk about recency bias all the time, right? This Packers team coming off a big win over the Chiefs. They've actually won outright as an underdog, I think, three straight games. They've been, people are talking playoffs now. People are talking maybe division champ. They can catch the Vikings. It's a little different. Okay. Sneaking up on teams as an underdog than laying road chalk nearly a touchdown. Giants are one of my favorite plays this weekend. I like the Giants plus six and a half. Is it going to be a rocking chair win? No. Is it going to be a time where they're down double digits? Probably. But I think it's the right side. When there's an ebb and flow to a season, I don't think the Packers can, can you can't assume their best effort and best performance every week. I do kind of like the Giants quite a bit at home Monday night. Um, they had some things working with DeVito a little. Right. And I think the Packers team is kind of ripe, kind of feeling themselves a little bit. Read the headlines, read the press clippings, as they say. I think grabbing six and a half with a home dog on Monday Night Football is the right way to approach this. I like it. I like it. And I also like spicy bets. So is there any prop bets that we could maybe grab out of this? Yes. As you know, I'm a big narrative better. So, you know, I can break down Tyreek Hill against the Titans defense and how much they allow slot receivers and all this. This is about Mike McDaniel trying to showcase Tyreek Hill. Primetime games play such a factor late in the season in awards betting. And Tyreek Hill has a chance to win the MVP. You've talked about it. You got me kind of onto this about a month ago, is that he wants to have 2,000 yards receiving and sort of break the record. Well, he's on pace, and I think a showcase game like this where he's such a difference maker with his speed and what he does for that Miami offense, I think there's going to be some gratuitous yards there. I think there's going to be – now, with the game on the line, is McDaniel going to try to influence? No. But I think third quarter, fourth quarter, if they have the game in hand, you might want to do some stuff. We saw this with Jaden Daniels and LSU at the end of the season around the goal line. They were throwing and running. It, it's it's in their best interest to reward star players. Right. Uh, that helps free agency and other things. So I think Tyreek over, I believe it's 106 and a half in that neighborhood. I mean, he might get that week one, week two, but now that you add the MVP component, I'm a big narrative guy. Why not? I like it. I'm a narrative guy. I'm also a fantasy football guy. And I got Tyreek Hill. I hope he does it. I'm excited to watch it. That right there is a primetime play.